I've got no strings to hold me down. Hey guys, what is up? If you don't know me, I'm Nate Bridgen. I'm these tunnels of really stuff. And today I will be reviewing the next installment in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which came out last yesterday and this weekend, Avengers Age of Ultron. So Avengers Age of Ultron is a story where Tony Stark, he builds this a artificial intelligence called Ultron, and as always, he goes bad and the Avengers have to stop him. So anyway, first off, here's what I liked about the movie. First off, Ultron. I loved Ultron. I thought Ultron was developed as a great villain. I thought that his role in the movie really tied everything together. I loved how he was just intimidating. And here's how intimidating Ultron is. I don't need him to beat me up. All I need him is just to say a speech. And he would just intimidate me. He would just intimidate you. And for all the fanboys out there, you are going to hate me for saying this. But I actually have the balls to say this. Ultron is better than Loki. I'm sorry, Marvel fanboys, but he is better than Loki. He is way better. Move over, Loki. We got Ultron. Also, I liked the event, how they focused the tone of this movie. Okay, let me just... Sorry. Dang, I can't talk today. I like the tone of this movie. It's very... Uh, the tone of this movie is very darker than the last Avengers movies and pretty much every other Marvel Cinematic Universe film besides Captain America 2. But besides that... Every, the tone in this movie is very dark. Yes, we knew that the tone would be very dark in the trailers, but surprisingly, it's actually darker than we would think. So, yeah, I like the tone there. I also liked the new additions of Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. I thought their characters were very well developed. I thought they were very well done, and I liked how Marvel put them in there. I also liked the chemistry between the team. I think it focused more on the chemistry between the team team in here than it did the last Avengers because the last Avengers was just like although it was great and all that that it was really just hey we're all here guys uh, fight scene now we actually focus more on the characters and you get their glimpses of what will happen plus another thing I like about this movie was the Easter eggs if you look closely there are tons and tons of Easter eggs to the Marvel Cinematic Universe all over the place like the Infinity Stone, like it mentions, the Infinity Stones used for Infinity War. And my favorite Easter eggs are the one, the Civil War, because you could just tell Captain America and Iron Man. I love their confrontations between Captain America and Iron Man. You could just tell the tension in there, and that will lead up to greatness in Captain America Civil War. So kudos for them to that. I also like the beginning scene of the movie. The begin, the movie starts off with just a bang. It starts off with a five minute action scene and it's just awesome. I love it. I love the, to see the beginning. And I also like the direction that Joss Whedon took it. I like Joss Whedon's writing. The thing about Joss Whedon that I like when he directs the movie is his writing. He is a genius of writing. If you don't know who Joss Whedon is, he's the director of The Last Avengers and the director of this one. But he also wrote the script for this one and Dare I say, he's a better writer than he is a director. I'm just saying that. I personally think Joss Whedon is a genius at writing. And if you don't know that, here's a fun fact. Joss Whedon actually wrote the first Toy Story, so there's a full act for you for that. But another thing I like about this is the effects. The visual effects in this movie are freaking awesome. I also love the action scenes. The action scenes are also awesome. And it's just fun to see the Avengers just back in action again. You know these characters. And there's even new characters in here, which I also love the addition. Enough for me as a comic book fan. That's right, I'm 25% nerd, 25% athlete, but 100% Christian. That's what I am. And if you don't know what sport I play, I play baseball. So, yeah. I'm spinning in this chair, watching you guys. That sounds really creepy. But anyway, overall, I did love this movie. I loved the characters' performances here. So in the end, overall, all I loved Avengers Age of Ultron on but there was, I don't know if I would count this as a flaw. I guess I could look past this because the first one strolled with us a bit. I'm going to say it was a bit, dare I say it, slow. A little too slow, I'll admit that. It was a bit slow. But besides that, it was a great time besides that. So in the end, overall, um, Andrew Age of Ultron had great acting, had a great directing. Great writing by Joss Whedon. Great Easter eggs for the comic book fans in the crowd, which there will be a lot of. I liked Ultron. I liked the Avengers chemistry. 
in here. I I did feel it was a little bit slow, but overall, it is one of my favorite. I liked it more than the first one, Avengers. I like it more than Captain America 2. I don't know if I like it more than Guardians of the Galaxy, but in the end, overall, the Avengers Age of Ultron gets two thumbs way, way up. So anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on the Avengers Age of Ultron. What did you think of the Avengers Age of Ultron? Comment down below. Let me know. And have you seen the Avengers Age of Ultron? That's a no-brainer. Probably everyone has seen it right now. But anyway, comment down below. Let me know. Also, guys, be sure to rate whether you liked or disliked this video. Also, be sure to share this video with your friends on Facebook or your followers on Twitter and any other social networking sites. And as always, if you liked this video and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. I'm Nate Bridget on the Dogs That Movie Review for Movie Stuff. And as always, see you later and subscribe.